Oh, fuck. All right. Another night begins. Eh? <laughs> uh, 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 another fucking cold winter night in mid-October. Where the fuck are we? Is it a Tuesday night? October 17, 2023. Uh, another evening begins in uh, this converted old tool shed, this 49 square foot rodent infested tool shed. Oh, fuck. There it is. Bugs in a Jar Farm sitting here uh, <laughs> winding down another year at Bugs in a Jar Farm. This is 20, the fourth summer coming to a, what did Neil Young say? It's better to burn out than to rust. Here, a, just another rusty limp. Out of another fucking summer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sitting here, uh, since there's nothing else to do, just sitting here uh, <laughs> examining my life. Examining my life there as I get ready to wind up another fucking year of, of, of what and head back down to uh, the Sunshine State to uh, gee, I think I'm moving into a trailer at the end of a dirt road in a swamp in Florida. And, and don't get me wrong, I, I, I really appreciate uh, <clears throat> having a fucking old trailer at the end of a dirt road in a swamp in Florida to be moving into. Oh, Jesus. I'm just thinking, and all I want to do is fucking get out of this shithole, get out of this fucking depressing weather, this gray, cold fucking weather, this goddamn, just mind-bending boredom. Oh, fuck, and get the fuck out of here. Hitting the road again. Here I am, 64 years old. <laughs> hit the wall, then hit the highway. I guess the road must be my middle name. No, goodbye must be my middle name. Is that that song by Mary Gaucher? I hit the wall, then hit the highway. I guess goodbye is my middle name. fucking goodbyes and there's never a fucking hello at the end. It's just goodbye. Fucking goodbye. Bye guys. You know. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> the 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 f <laughs> The fucking never-ending grind. Oh, I just suffered through uh, one of these, some, some fucking, th th this is how fucking, uh, uh, what my fucking life has come to here uh, at, at the end of another, at the end of another summer. Oh, as winter bears down and starts sucking my soul, what's left of my fucking soul out of my brain. You know, I, 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 over there on fucking Netflix, sitting alone in a beat-up, converted tool shed, 
uh, watching some fucking Hollywood romantic comedy. Some goddamn one of the, these romantic comedies uh, on Netflix. Doesn't even matter which one. They're all the fucking same. You know, these little fucking fantasies. These little fucking fantasies about this impossible boy meets girl. It's usually the boy knows that the girl is his soulmate uh, and he needs to convince her uh, to spend the rest of her life with him. Sometimes the other way around, but you know the fucking story. 64 fucking year old man sitting here in a fucking beat up old tool shed with with my goddamn life just so fucking empty so fucking empty just just totally pointless totally fucking pointless Watching some goddamn Hollywood fucking movie uh, about some young, beautiful fucking people. Boy meets girl. Girl uh, plays hard to get. Uh, boy thinks he's never going to get the girl. And then the boy gets the girl at the last minute. And everybody just lives happily ever fucking after. <coughs> uh, fuck. Hollywood. And... and, and, and <laughs> And, and I'm still watching this shit, guys. I am still watching this shit. I, it's the same fucking shit that, that I was watching at age 12. You, you know, at, at fucking age 12, The Graduate was my favorite fucking movie. Probably still is. You know, all of my 12-year-old buddies, uh, you know, what, what the fuck were, were all of my 12-year-old buddies uh, watching, uh, talk, looking at their favorite movie. I'm watching The Fucking Graduate. The, uh, you know, the boy meets girl and the, and the boy gets the girl at her wedding and, and all of this shit. But of course it did have the single greatest line in movie history. I mean, one word line in movie history, 1967, we all know the greatest one-word movie line in the history of Hollywood was not a fantasy, plastics, plastics, <laughs> in 1967, uh, calling it in one word. Looking at uh, you know twenty one year olds in uh, nineteen sixty seven looking into the future how to make money uh, plastics. <laughs> oh fuck! Yep, Hollywood movies, romantic comedies. Uh, let's see some fucking romantic tragedies. I'm sure there were some good romantic tragedies. Was Gone with the Wind considered a romantic tragedy? Frankly, Scarlet, I don't give a damn. Ugh. Not only will I not get the girl I love, uh, who's probably listening to this, uh, <laughs> not, not only will I not get the girl 
I, 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 you know, just the very thought, the the very thought of uh, of, of finding love. Oh God. I mean, it just gets more, it, 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 it just gets darker, bleaker, the, 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 the very thought of it. So I notice on, uh, on green singles today, for the third time, this woman down in Florida... This 59-year-old blonde down in Florida has viewed my profile. She was one of the very first people to view my profile on green singles. And uh, she is back for the third time. Hope does spring eternal in the clueless fucking moron's breath. So speaking of Florida, I was, uh, I'm still getting comments on this. Uh, this was the, uh, the video I made uh, the day that I, that I wrecked my truck and my own fucking driveway down there in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Uh, this is my friend who was dead dying of uh, care, of cancer, and then and, and she died soon after this video. So this was supposed to be the last time I was ever going to see uh, my friend uh, Karen from live down there in Florida. This was going to be the last time we were ever going to see each other when I had a, and so we made plans, I told her I was on my way, and I started the truck, and I went 12 feet and smashed into a fucking tree in my own driveway, did over $3,000 worth of damage on my truck, <clears throat> and uh, I'm still getting comments on this video. It now has 3,600 views on it. There was a day that that uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe used to get thousands of views. Uh, <clears throat> the title of this video, if you have not seen it, Bewildered. Why do I hate my fucking life? Hate the fucking world and everything about it. Let's listen to a couple of minutes of what I used to sound like when I had thousands of people tuning in to me three years ago. I love that word, bewildered. You know, I'm trying to think where the fucking wrong turn I took was. Where the fuck was the wrong fucking turn that I took? At what point did, did everything in my fucking life that I touch just the, the, the turning to shit? Every single fucking aspect. I, I, I can't fucking go 12 feet Go fucking 12 fucking feet in my own fucking driveway without another $500 going down the fucking toilet. You know? And, and it's not just me. It's, it's like every fucking person I know. Uh, every fucking person I know. It, 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 it's just dealing with, with this unfucking believable tsunami of bullshit. Wh whether it be their fucking uh, health, uh, you, 
you know, this line, this Towns Van Zant song, uh, Bad News from Houston, uh, Half My Friends Are Dying. Uh, you know, my, my, my fucking friends are there, you know, I'm, I'm getting emails, uh, you know, my, my, my goddamn friends are fucking dying, they're fucking freezing to death. Uh, some fucking, this bullshit out of nowhere. Uh, is it my fucking imagination, people? Is it my fucking imagination? Or, or, or has this entire fucking world just gone fucking crazy? I hate my fucking life! I fucking hate it! Yep. <laughs> well, that was three years ago. And, uh... I have certainly made a lot of progress in three years. Oh, fuck. Fucking life. I, I mean... <laughs> It just fucking sucks. I, 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 I'm trying to hold on to uh, what's left uh, of my sick, twisted, uh, dark sense of humor. Uh, but, but it's getting fucking harder every day, guys. It's getting fucking harder every fucking day. Two more weeks here. And then I'm off. Uh, to get the fuck out of here, uh, hit the fucking highway, and, and then I'm going to be back in Florida, uh, just like I was in this fucking <clears throat> video. Sitting fucking alone, drinking goddamn tequila uh, by myself at the end of a fucking dirt road out in the fucking uh, swamp in Florida. I'm going to do that for half the fucking year. Then I'm going to turn around and come back up here and, and, and start this shit. Uh, and I wonder why uh, my doomer chick forever doesn't want to walk away from her beautiful... Uh, home in the goddamn suburbs and, uh, and join me in some fucking romantic comedy at, at the end of a fucking dirt road uh, in, in, in a swamp in Florida. So I guess what I'll do is I guess I'll go over to Green Singles. Let's, uh, let me recheck this woman uh, who, who has been uh, coming back third time in six months. So you guys tell me, is this Hambone's Doomer check? Now, obviously, I, I'm not going to show you... Uh, I'm not going to show you uh, her picture, but... Uh, She's just fine, trust me. She has long red hair. Huh. Long, straight red hair. And she calls herself Princess Leah. Princess Leah. Okay. She is down there in Florida. She is a straight female. Okay. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, oh well, I guess I have been locked out of, uh, <laughs> I go on to, uh, and it looks like I have been, uh, what better results? Hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Got it. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I've... Oh, here is Princess Leah. 
Okay, so Princess Leah, she wants a long-term relationship. She speaks English and Spanish. All right, she considers herself conscious and spiritual. She eats mostly raw foods. She eats mostly raw foods. She does not drink. She does not smoke. She does not smoke tobacco. She does not smoke weed. Uh, she does exercise daily. Uh, she has a high energy level. She has an advanced graduate degree. How green are you? I am medium green, mostly green lifestyle. She, ha she is not political. She has one child. She is not willing to relocate from Florida. She is a Gemini. All right. Uh, she is somewhere between 5'4 and 5'6, somewhere between 120 and 140 pounds. Okay, this is Princess Leah. Uh, she is, her passions are, she is trained in opera. Right, saving animals from reef search. There you go. She is looking for, all right, this is what this raw food eating woman is looking for. A beautiful man connected to his heart, <coughs> looking to create <coughs> a real connection with happiness, love, abundance, and sincere emotions. Yes. Uh, she wants a companion to share <coughs> the joy of life. Some of her favorite activities include gyrotonic <coughs> Bikram yoga meditating, <coughs> dancing, and caring for her pups. And there she, you go. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I do not know. I, 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 <laughs> I honestly don't know, guys, uh, why, uh, you know, why I don't, uh, <clears throat> pull a Michael Dowd. Uh, look at Michael Dowd, he has to, <laughs> Michael Dowd has to scoop ham bone one more time. <clears throat> oh, Michael, you lucky SOB. All right, well, I guess I'm heading back to, uh, do I want to watch another space alien video or another romantic comedy? Bye, guys.